All right, hello, I'm back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do another video about the Rekamon number sequence. In the previous video, what I did was visualize it. And you can see here, this is me, this is not me, but this is the P5 code I wrote to visualize the Rekamon number sequence as a continuous series of arcs. It looks like they're circles, but they're actually connected arcs. You can watch the previous video where I go and build this whole code. But one of the things that, pe that you can do also with number sequences, besides visualize them, is create an audio version of them. And in fact, if you go back to my new favorite website entirely in the entire world, the online encyclopedia of integer sequences, um, you know, if I'm here on the recommend sequence page, uh, I can click right here to listen and it will give me a MIDI file. MIDI being a system for encoding music as numbers. So if I can encode music as numbers and I have a number sequence, then I can make that number sequence MIDI and then I can play it as music. So this is what I want to try to do and I'm going to attempt to do it with the P5JS sound library making use probably, and this I don't really know that well, so I'm going to be doing a lot of looking up in the reference while I do this. I'm going to do it with an oscillator to generate a sound and the envelope an envelope to kind of craft that sound, um, essentially creating my own synthesizer. Should also mention that um, this video was pointed out to me uh, from Dale Gerdemann, um, which is also visualizing the sequence in a completely different way with colors and also making it into audio. So I hope after watching both of these, we will see a world full of, I mean, um, I don't know, do we want this world? I mean, why not? Let's see a world full of visualizations and audio versions of numeric sequences. Okay, so let's start coding again. I'm gonna close these windows. I'm gonna go here um, and let's think about this. So do I wanna, I'm gonna keep the visualization going and basically, so I could start from scratch. I'm gonna just keep this code. <laughs> I'm gonna add to it. Um, and what I want to do is I want to play a note. So. Is, Let's see if I, how, how to best do this. So the first thing that I know that I need to do is I need to create an oscillator. An oscillator is an object that will generate a tone. And there are different kinds of oscillators, right? I, it's basically a pure sound wave. And I can have a sine wave or a triangle wave. And I believe I have a video about P5 oscillators that will go into that perhaps a bit more. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this code exactly as is and I'm going to paste it into setup. Here, coding challenge, copy paste from examples and then I'm going to create, make that a global variable and I'm going to discover what interesting error I will have now. So P5 oscillator is not a constructor. Why do I have, why did this come up? Why do I have this? Because I don't actually use the sound library that often and I didn't include it here. I should use it more often. So I'm gonna uh, go and add a reference in my HTML file to the P5 sound library. So hopefully that's gonna clear that error up. Great, it's going, do I hear anything? Mm -hmm. So let's go to the sketch and why do I not hear anything? Um, because I set the amplitude to zero. Let's set the amplitude to one, and which is 100% volume. I'm gonna hit refresh. So now you hear the sine wave. Now, so what's, what do I wanna do here? So I have this, and I'm gonna click back here to stop the sound for a second. I have this number sequence that's going up. Uh, we, we could look at those numbers. They're 0, 1, 3, 6, 2, 7, 13, 20. So what if I just took each number and assigned it, of, and took the number in the sequence and made it a frequency? So for example, as I'm stepping through, I could say oscillator frequency um, index, right? Index is actually the number of the, that's currently part of the sequence. So if I do this and go back to here and click on this, Oh, I don't hear anything. Do you hear something? You might have, you have headphones, have it turned up. Eventually, I think I'm gonna start hearing something. So here's the thing. There is a range of frequencies. Frequency as a, a, a being a measurement of how many cycles of a wave per second. Oh, now we can start to hear it. <laughs> I 
I kind of like that. Okay, so for a while we didn't hear any notes, and then all of a sudden we started to hear something. So here's the thing, it's much too arbitrary to just set a, the, the number from zero to whatever as the frequency. There is a specific audible range of frequencies that we can hear. And so, um, and there also are formulas for converting from MIDI notes to frequency and back and forth. I'm sorry about this applause. It has nothing to do with me, clearly. There's something going on in the hallway. There's nothing I could do about it right now. It's just gonna be in this video forever. But, um, and so I'm pretty sure that P5 has a like MIDI to frequency or to node or something function somewhere. <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna to go to this Wikipedia page, which I have loaded up here, called Piano Key Frequencies. And if you look at this, this formula here, I wanna use this. Basically, if we number all the keys on the piano, from the very bottom key to the top key, I can't remember how many keys are on a piano, 88 keys standard or 108 key extended, we can actually find the frequency of any key n through this formula. I'm sure we could think about this in interesting ways, but I'm just gonna go and use this formula. So look at this. I'm going to say, so if the, if the Rekamon numbers, all these numbers, and I'm just gonna do from zero to 88, like I'm not gonna let it go forever. If I consider each one of these to be a key on the piano, then we should be able to play the music. So, <laughs> this is really insane. This is very distracting. All right, uh, okay, so I wanna say the, uh, the frequency is, and go back to this formula, uh, 2 to the n minus 49, okay, so power 2, n, uh, n which is index, minus 49, divided by, uh, divided by 12, times, and I believe it was 440. It's four, um, 440, I wonder if 440 is like middle C or the note A, oh, I think it's the tune to A 440, so A is like, uh, 440 is a uh, hertz is the is the note a so um, so now if I were to say uh, this and let's console log index and the frequency just to hear it and I also want to just go to setup and I'm gonna oh if I already had set the frame rate down to five in anticipation of this but I'm actually set it to one to make it even slower all right let's take a listen oh right Do you guys hear those very low notes? <laughs> uh, use index mod 88, that makes sense. Um. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was kind of loud. All right. So I can't seem to get those really low notes to play. Let's increase the frame rate. So first of all, I really need to add an envelope to this. The whole point of this is I want it to sound somewhat nice. So what is an envelope? So in addition to the oscillator, there is this thing called an envelope. And an envelope has uh, four elements to it, and they're actually described right here. And I have a video all about this, which is attack, decay, sustain, release. So if you think about playing a note, like when you hit a note on the piano, there's the sort of attack, there's the note sort of fading out, there's the sustain, there's the release, all those, those four things, <laughs> yeah, there's various parameters. I'm just gonna kind of use a default setting. Um, and I'm gonna go to this uh, example, p5.envelope, and just sort of look. So let's, let's grab, thank you, let's grab. It's funny, because I have fake applause sound effect, and then there's people applauding on it. So I'm gonna grab all of this stuff, these settings for that envelope. Um, I am going to create an envelope right here. Uh, and then um, uh, I'm gonna make the envelope, sorry, before I make the oscillator. So I basically wanna use the envelope in the sense as a wrapper around the oscillator. The oscillator is going to give me the quality of the sound and the frequency, as a, what kind of wave it is, and the envelope is gonna allow me to make it feel like I'm almost playing a key on a synthesizer. Um, and so now if we go and look here, we can see envelope.play. So now, so the amplitude gets tied to the envelope. So instead of saying an amplitude of one, I'm gonna say, Oscill amplitude envelope, and then I'm just gonna say envelope.play. Let's try this. And um, I need start, I need frequency, 
an envelope.play. Okay. So then I wanna then I wanna also comment this out right now. And just we should just hear one note. Do you hear that? Nice and soft. Bum. So what I'm going to do now is I should be able to then say, uh, I should be able to set the frequency and play the envelope again. So here, I'm going to set the frequency and I'm going to uh, play the envelope again. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> and I am going to uh, not set the frequency here or play the envelope here. And let's see what we get. So these. Okay, that is loud. I don't know if I just totally destroyed your ears. Um, one thing that I can do here that would be kind of nice would be to um, make this actually uh, index mod 88 so that if the index goes higher than the last key on the keyboard, it will then wrap back down to the bottom one. And I almost feel like what I want to do is use a smaller range, but let's try this. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. Now, how's the volume? Okay, I think this video is over. As you can see, I am terrible. I'm terrible at doing stuff with music and sound. Hold on, this video is not over yet. <laughs> uh, getting a, a, a suggestion from the chat from Kay Weekman saying, you will get more musical results by restricting the range a bit. I'd say two octaves top. So what I should be doing here is basically um, two octaves, right, would be how many notes total, 24? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. That's 12. Then I have C. So that's 12 notes total. So um, if I, so I want like a range of two octaves would be 24 notes. Um, maybe I would allow the last note, so I would have 25 notes. So I would, maybe I want to say something like the, the N is index plus, I don't know, I should start up somewhere, like plus 48. Um, modulus 25. Is that like crazy? Oh, 40, N minus 49, that's interesting. Um, um, okay, so is this, does this make any sense at all? Let's try a little bit higher, like 24, 48, 96. What number? Oh, because I'm, I'm module. No, 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 no. I have to modulus the 25 plus 48. Okay, let's go down here. Is this better? <laughs> this is the, one of the weirdest videos I've ever made. So anyway, you, now you see that I, A, have no, in addition to having no visual talent, I also have no musical talent. I don't know that much about music. I know a little bit. I played the violin and I <laughs> attempt to play a very out of tune ukulele. All right. so. Um, this is the end of my video. <laughs> I've said that so many times. Um, share with me your musical compositions based off of this number sequence or other number sequences um, and ways that you uh, discover. And I look forward to seeing you in future coding challenges. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>